Very good evening. I'm here at the Balewadi Stadium at DSK Shivajans FC and I have with me Neil Shah who has uh, done a lot over the last few years in Indian football and now he is yeah, managing an I-League team. How is it back for you? It's been quite a journey actually coming from the agency side. We're getting a taste of a lot of what's happening not just in the I-League but in even other programs, academy projects or other investments. A lot of administrative challenges that exist in the industry, a lot of uh, even internal challenges that, that are there. However, the good thing about being on the inside is that you see the opportunity. You, every day you go to work and you can see where you can make things a bit better. And that's one thing over the last nine months I've experienced is that uh, as tough as it's been at times, it's, it's one of the best jobs to have in Indian football is that you can actually be the difference maker over here. And I, and I love that opportunity. How difficult is it with, you know, I've had the experience myself, winning and losing uh, <laughs> in football, which is sometimes nice, sometimes bad. Um, work gets judged on the results, not on, on your performance or the performance of your coaching staff, the players. Mm -hmm. How difficult is that compared to having worked in an agency before? Yeah, so it, it does, even before the agency has a lead in, in MLS, and so it was always very neutral. You want to go for your players, you want to go for specific games that you want to see well, it will go well, but uh, here it's... It's an emotional roller coaster. The good thing about this club, TSK Ship Agents, is that the vision that the owner has is very long term. And even when I came in, my vision for this project has always been long term. So although it stings to lose, nobody wants it. You, the boys, play very hard, and you always want to win. It's it, the sting is not as strong knowing that if our young boys are playing well, if uh, the team is shaping up and getting stronger, and the academy boys and everyone else are also getting inspired for what they're seeing on the pitch then the, the project is still moving forward. And I think that's what uh, I like most about what's working with DSK. Well, that's an interesting one, isn't it? That Cherish had the vision, you know, mm -hmm. when you started, you were involved on the other side, so to say, with the yeah. former company, Liberal Sports, in helping Cherish create what he has now with the academy, with the team, the entire the Liverpool football club as well. Mm -hmm. um, do you see that as the only way of developing club football in India? Is, is DSK on the right track in the long term? 100% actually. I, one of the things I always say, and I said this before I joined as the CEO of the club, is we need at least 20 more DSK students type models in the country. Meaning that the focus is on infrastructure, it's on youth development, it's on coaching education, it's on building a very sustainable model that's starting from the very bottom and coming up. And, uh, and then putting an I-League team on top when you're ready for that. And if we had more of these projects, you would see that a lot. Um, it might not uh, be results that come right away, but the next five, six years, you would actually see some genuine results come out of these types of projects. And I think that's uh, what I hope we do, is we create a model that others emulate. Well, that's, that's one of the things. I mean, how important is it also that these young boys that you're creating as talent are getting chances in the first team? Uh, it's incredibly important, incredibly important. One of the reasons why we brought Dave Rogers up as the first team manager is he knew the academy he helped build it in a lot of ways uh, over the last few years. It's, um, it's one of the reasons I, we signed a lot of our academy products on longer term contracts right off the bat, knowing that whether they get playing time right away or it takes some time, but we want them, we want academy projects on the, on the pitch and we want the younger boys are in our U16s or even now our U13s to see that, you know what, there is a path right? that even if you play, if you play well in the younger age groups, like you can make it to the senior team and we are giving the 17 year old Prundle or others a chance to, uh, to put on the, the jersey and be on TV and represent our club at the highest level. In some way, we have a similar history in the sense of that we've come from outside and done our things in Indian football over the last few years. Um, where do you see Indian football at the moment? You know, you've got the American model where you see America is just, you know, most probably the Big Bang is just waiting to happen in the US, or not just in the US, but Canada generally, in North America. Yeah. What do you say about our football, our Indian football? I feel like there's a lot of activity, there's a lot of investment, but I feel like the direction is not unified. And so I've been here now about seven, eight years, and I've seen so much more investment over the last three to four years than I would have ever imagined. It's almost exponential compared to what it was before. However, I feel like the direction is going in many different ways where it's not unified, and so which is why the, the real tangible results are also pretty hard to see. You might see a quick win on you know TRPs for ISL or a couple of young players like Jerry or others coming out through certain systems, but it's not part of a, a longer term unified approach. And I think that's what we had in the US where the sport really came from very little and has grown into a, not just something that's relevant in the country, but also that's sustainable and that's growing in a very, very natural way. Whereas here, I don't think we're there. I, but I do think that there's good people that are trying to do good things 
and eventually they'll come together and they'll get there. But I have to look as optimistic and positively as I can, and I do believe that I will get there at some point. Thanks a lot, Neil, for the interview. This is, uh, was Neil Shah here, DSK Shivajans FC, and uh, well, a model to follow in Indian football, certainly, and something really which is taking Indian football forward. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, Arnava. Thanks.